Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of our Be A Pro Goalie Career here in NHL 25. Today, we got a matchup against the very dangerous Alexander Ovechkin. The Great Eight and the Washington Capitals are in the building for another home matchup. We know what he's capable of. We're going to have to play well, and we need it because if you missed the last video, we're coming off arguably, actually, it's not even arguably, it just is the worst start of our career so far. We ended up playing the Ducks for the second time this season, and they were able to get the best of us, tying the season series to one game apiece. It ended up being 6-5 in overtime. It was definitely not our best effort. I will say it was, you know, kind of a weird game. There was a lot of odd man rushes for both teams. There were some pucks going in off players' legs, their skates, their sticks, etc. It's no excuse. We didn't play well enough. You can see we're still okay. If, you know, forgetful minds. Put it in the past you can see our stats in the top right corner still very respectable numbers and we're gonna need to start playing better hockey because in the next you know couple weeks there's a lot of games coming up if we look at our calendar after that anaheim game the boys went into utah and absolutely trounced the utah hockey club eight to two it was maybe a little bit of aggression coming coming in that one from the game before but we're getting another opportunity a few days later against washington then we head into three back-to-back -back series in the next couple weeks we start with toronto ottawa then we got winnipeg utah a week later and then less than a week after that we have edmonton anaheim so surely the coach is going to lean on us just a little bit throughout that stretch of hockey going to be some tough matchups but it starts today against the washington capitals alex ovechkin as we mentioned it's a it's a much different looking washington capitals but they're still very dangerous we can't take any team for granted in this early playthrough and to kick things off, I actually have a jersey in mind. I did see a comment from one of you guys asking to use a red jersey if they had it in this game. You said it was something like modeled or designed after another Vegas sports team. Now, unfortunately, I don't know enough about Vegas or their sports teams to know if this is the one you're talking about. So if you're still following the series, let me know. The only one they have is this 2021 reverse retro. I don't know if this is what you're talking about. Let me know if it is. We'll get this into a video in one of the upcoming ones. We're going to use this anyway at some point. That's one thing I love doing in our playthrough is changing up the jerseys. Uh, it's one of the few customization things you have control over aside from your player in Be A Pro. So I like to get in there, mix up the jerseys, give a little bit of variety. But for today, I figured, you know what? It's a fun matchup against Ovi. We're back home in Las Vegas, Nevada under the lights. What better time to use finally the golden chrome dome lids baby the absolute grotesque shiny lids that upon this this jersey i know a lot a lot of people like these ones i'm not sure if i like them but uh without further delay let's head out to ringside where we have a matchup we are trying to defend our 11 5 and 1 record against the capital 7 6 and 3 so maybe not quite the start they were looking for maybe a bit better than they were looking for who knows but here we are, T-Mobile Arena, lights down, glow sticks up, matchup, Capitals, Golden Knights, our next puck drop coming up. Like I said, a big opportunity to kind of forget what happened in the last one, make some big saves, and see if we can't get back on board. And my oh my, I know that those are shiny helmets to begin with, but this game has a way of reflections turned to the max, and those are something special, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. Anyway, we got the bond for this game. The golden tinfoil is on. Let's see if the boys can get off to a much better start. Now, you might be thinking that's weird because in most of these videos, we get off to a couple goal lead, which is great as Alex Ovechkin has a step. The old man, and he looks for a pass. That is not like Ovi to not just take a rip right in front of the net, but a good effort by the boys to get back. But yeah, you might be thinking, hey, we got a couple goals in the first period. That's... That's great. I'm talking about the first few minutes. In the first five minutes of each of those games, it's actually been kind of a struggle lately, and they give up really good scoring opportunities the other way. So yes, I would love the goals in the first period to continue, because Vegas seems to be known for that in this video game. But I would like a little bit of a better structure defensively to kick this one off, as Charlie Lindgren grabs that one backhanded opportunity. It'll be interesting to see how this Washington responds in real life. It's, it's like I said, a much different look. You got Charlie Lindgren, who had a great second half of the season last year, maybe trying to force a 1A, 1B tandem in Washington alongside newly signed Logan Thompson coming over from the Vegas Golden Knights. You would assume he is the guy. That did not hit the post. I don't know why it made that sound. Another guy, this guy holding the puck, Luke, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. 
looking for a basically third opportunity on a new team to kind of right the ship and jumpstart his career. Obviously, really didn't work out in Winnipeg. Moved over to um, the Kings last year and, you know, he's kind of touted as somebody who would go in there and be a top six forward and it really did not pan out. Was almost immediately dropped to a bottom six guy that they could barely rely on. Now he's here in Washington hoping to uh, to find something for himself. I believe they also brought in Mangiapani to play alongside Ovechkin as we make our first save of the game and it's a tough one. Holy crap, that was a lot scarier than I thought it would be. But they're also an older team, right? Like, they, they got... I, I don't think they're the oldest team in the league, but they got to be somewhere near the top. Obviously, OV can still produce, approaching Gretzky's record. You got John Carlson, who is kind of a rock... A, a veteran, but a rock on the back end. Rasmus Sandin kind of found his footing last year. It'll be interesting. Hurdle now into the offensive zone, waiting for his team to finish the line change. Has Mark Stone down low to help him out. Hurdle. Back to the point of Noah Hannafin. Hannafin gives it away to Tom Wilson, and now they have numbers coming the other way. Protus now. Protus looking, drops, passes it, but loses it. Has a nice big hit, and he gets the puck back. We got some issues sorting out themselves in front of the net. Hannafin now gets it up to Eichel. Eichel rubbed off the puck, and it's Protus coming back. Gets it to Radish. Farivari gets it up to Mangiapani, the man we were talking about. I believe coming over from Calgary, if I'm not mistaken. Dorfeyev up to Kolosar, third line. Wa loses it. Puck squirts up to Mangiapani through the neutral zone. Tries to find time and space in Vegas' territory. And a nifty little stick lift from Dorfeyev to get that one away. So some uneven matchups here. You got Kolosar in the third line against Ovi and the top line. Dylan Strom gets it up to Alexander Ovechkin. A nice poke check again. And Shea Theodore, I've said this multiple times this playthrough. Yes, there's some flashy plays by a number of guys. Yes, he's not the most offensively gifted defenseman that I've ever seen. But my oh my, is he having a quiet year. Very good defensive for us. Gets a stick in all the right places and then just finds the seams like right there. Open ice, doesn't panic, takes a shot. Just had a really good year for us so far. And somebody in this game, at least, the AI of, of Shea Theodore, is somebody that I know is mostly going to be back on every single play. Whereas you see Petrangelo get a lot more involved, get down low, get the quarterback senses going where he's looking for a pass. Shea Theodore will do that, but he'll also dip back when he needs to. Here Luke Dubois now into the Vegas territory, looking for a shot, gets it back to John Carlson. And we will rip this one out of the air. No rebound. We'll get a whistle. And our second save now, after 12 minutes nearly, 13, or sorry, yeah, 11, 10, I think, yes. 8.50 left in the first period, not a busy opening frame, and honestly, kind of a nice change. <laughs> we've had a couple games back-to-back -back where we've had to make 20 saves in the first period. Holtz, back in front, and that's where you wish Shea Theodore would just take a shot. Still not a bad play, there you see him drop back, make sure he gets back defensively. Oh, she has a step on him this time, but it bounces off the skate and goes right to Theodore. Theodore now, challenged by Pierre-Luc Dubois. Dubois wins that battle against two Vegas players. Come on, Shea. There you go. Reverse check a little bit. Gets it to Carlson. Carlson has a step. William Carlson, and he just doesn't really do much with it. Runs out of time. Runs out of time and space. And the right-catching Charlie Lindgren will make a nice save on that breakaway attempt. Not the greatest attempt, but it still was one nonetheless. Face off one by Dylan Strom using his foot. So there is another Roy on Washington. In the comments, let me know if he also goes by Wa or if he's a Roy, because I believe his first name's Matt. It's either Matt Roy or Matt Wa. The problem that I have is thank you for pointing out all the differences because I'm not familiar with all the French players in this game or in the league for that matter. There is a number of Roy's on the Eastern Conference and a number of Wa's around the league. So <laughs> trying to figure out who's who's what is, oh my gosh, Ovechkin just murdered White Cloud in front of the net. That looked like an elbow. And there's another thing with the penalties. There just doesn't seem to be any penalties called. Strom up to Ovechkin. Ovechkin, he'll shoot that one down low. It'll ricochet down around the back of the net. White Cloud skates it out. Gets it up to Eichel. Eichel finds Hurdle, Thomas Hurdle. He goes for a little toe drag shot. And it's gonna be another good save by Charlie Lindgren. So. Some chances coming both ways. Shots favoriting the Vegas Golden Knights. But we're well underway in this one. 
There's another big hit. My old, like, I do wish that this game would tone down the monster hits just a little bit. I know EA absolutely loves them, but it's a little ridiculous. Face off one by Eichel, back to McNabb. McNabb passes the puck across to Hag, and it's Mangiapane. We're gonna go for a flying poke check, and we hit it off our pads. Oh my gosh, I timed that horribly. We'll watch that replay in just a minute once we know that we're safe. McNabb in the corner, kicks it back. It squirts to, I think it's Matt Roy. Okay, I, I hate breaking up the play, but I know that we'll lose this replay if we don't look at it now. Okay, so I knew I was going to do the flying poke check. Recalled it. Misses. He shoots it so much quicker with pressure. Kudos to Hag for one. And that just ricochets just barely off the top of our pad. And if you're wondering how we get thumbnails, this is this is how we do it. We go to a replay, we find a funny moment or a good moment. And that's a good one right there. As Manjir Pani shoots the puck a lot quicker than I thought. We go for the flying poke check, stack the pads, and thankfully, we're just in good position. I did not expect one hag to get back as quickly as he did, and two for Manjir Pani to actually shoot that as quickly as he did. Oh, somebody just got flattened beside us. You hope they're okay. We'll watch his stick to make sure he gets up. He does. That's Braden McNabb. Milano now. McNabb obviously back, getting up from that hit. Milano slams on the brakes. Now we got some good puck movement in front by the Washington Capitals. Oshi rubs his puck. Man off the puck. Faravari gets it back to Dubois. Dubois drops past it to Carlson and... Hags putting his body on the line, and there we go. Finally, a penalty, as I believe that was William Carlson coming across, trying to leave the zone, and it's Sonny Milano right behind him. Yeah, that's just a place you can't poke, Jack. Just tries chopping out the puck and gets the feet, and I don't remember the last time we had a power play, but we got a power play opportunity late in this first period. I'm assuming the first line will step out onto the ice, and let's see if they can. No, it's starting with the second. Okay, I respect it. So Barbashev for the faceoff, loses it to McMichael, and Alexiev now under pressure by Barbashev, good play to keep it in, Holtz back to Petrangelo off a man in front, McMichael will clear this one through the neutral zone, take some valuable seconds off the power play, two minutes left in the first, and it's a turnover, it's a turnover, and we stay just in time with that, that was Dowd in front, a nice play, an effort on shorthanded to get that one in front, and we just get a piece of that, my oh my, you can see Chance, the Gila monster again. The crowd fired up very loud in this one. Still a 0 0 game. Jack Eichel's unit steps on, loses the face off again. So, kind of an un uninvited stat is we're losing a lot of face offs lately. Oh my gosh, shorthanded. What a redirection. There's no way we just got scored on shorthanded. What just happened again? What is with our defense in this game? This is TJ Oshie just being allowed to walk in. Petrangelo's got to stick nowhere. I don't even know what just happened. He goes to shoot. It hits off the stick behind him. It goes off Mark Stone's stick and redirects back to the right. And it's Oshie all alone as Petrangelo just doesn't know what planet he's on. And unfortunately for us, a very uh, unlucky, not unnecessary, very unlucky double bounce off two sticks, the last one being Mark Stone, and TJ Oshie just in the right. That's two shorthanded opportunities, and they capitalize on it. Come on, boys, wake up. This is a bad first period. Let's see if the boys can bounce back with a goal of their own on this power play to tie it. Another sloppy effort trying to set up, and it's TJ Oshie once again the other way. Petrangelo now. Up to Carlson. Carlson finds Stone on the far side, gets to Eichel. Eichel now looking for a space to shoot, and he's just getting absolutely outworked. There's finally a good shot on net. 45 seconds left, a minute 06 in the period. Holy jumpins, that is... I mean, it's unlucky what happened, but also, like, why is, why is Oshi in past everybody, man? And like, I would be fine with it happening, but we just had a scoring chance against us on the penalty kill, or on the power play. And they almost capitalized on that one. So good use, good, good making use of a bad opportunity, a bad tripping call from Sonny Milano. But you got to give it to Washington for being in the right spot. I mean, that's also just a bad dump. Carlson's not even there. Doesn't get to his man, and now it's going to be 
A clear once again up to Carlson. Carlson's just going to get that down low, and that's pretty much going to do it. And for the first period, and oh my gosh, another poke check. Oh, she now. This is just embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. That one hits us in front. 10 seconds left in the first, and we got to go to the dressing room and have a bit of a conversation. Can Eichel? No, he goes for an open ice deke. And that's going to do it. one nothing short-handed goal by TJ Oshie. And we have, a, we have a deficit to crawl out of. And that's just a... Look at this. He's in all alone. Petrangelo doesn't even, doesn't even notice him. His AI was facing the puck the entire time. 33 hits from Washington in the first period. Holy crap. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll head to the second period. Down a goal here. Not what you love to see. That's the first time we've headed... To the second period feeling not very good about the boys in front of us not a lot of structure in that first period from either team really stone now he'll corral that in his own zone gets it up to eichel hurdle thomas hurdle loses the puck but gets it back over to eichel and there's a good rip and a connection from this first line the signature little selly 10 goals now on the season from jack eichel and that's the response he needed. I don't want to feel too happy about that one yet, but it's a beautiful play. Hurdle spots Eichel behind the defenseman. Tries to get pushed off. But remember, Lindgren catches right-handed. That's a blocker side shot that beats him under the blocker, over the pad. It's enough to get through. And that's a good shot and a good reward for a pretty good, solid opening shift from the top line. Hurdle now up to 13 points. You can see Jack Eichel stands alone at 25. He is having one heck of a year, and that's what we need him to have. Assists go to both the other guys, Hurdle and Stone. And we had a 1-1 game, and that is a beautiful start to the second period. A response here. A good shot in front. OV spots Strom. We just stay to the post. That's another Vegas player. Petrangelo this time on the ground losing his stick. What a physical team this Washington crew is. Holy jumpins. You'd expect it from guys like Tom Wilson. But you wouldn't necessarily expect it from guys like TJ Oshie. Theodore now tries to find that one through the legs of his own teammate. Manjapani will skate this one out. Open ice deep. Gets it across to Ovi. Ovi will just take a nice little wrist shot as he was under pressure. Will make the save. Petrangelo now will join the rush defensively. Gets it back in front to Carlson and a little saucer pass. Hits the pads of Charlie Lindgren. And who else but Big Rig Bill is in front. And he gets the 17th of the season after an unbelievable little sauce there from Petrangelo. That's, that's got to be a set play. I don't know if that went off the stick or off the pads, but it was towards the net. They got a favorable bounce, and it lands on the stick of William Carlson. He makes no mistake going under the glove of Charlie Lindgren for his seventh. And we got a 2-1 hockey game early in the second period here. Wow, what a turn of events. We're not even three minutes in, and we regain the lead. Not even regain, we take the lead. We never had the lead. Unbelievable stuff. You'll love to see it. Both lines contributing now. Back in front. Loses the puck, and it's the latest goal scorer, William Carlson, through the neutral zone. Waiting for his team to catch up. Gets behind the man, but it's a big hit once again. Carlson into the corner, gets it up to Dubois. He loses the puck, and now we got that trap that we'd love to see. I was actually going to look in the settings afterwards to see if we can see our team setup and team strategies. I forgot to do it after last game. I got to think they, they're playing some sort of trap play. Because once they get going and once they're feeling good, they really do set some nice plays up at the blue line. They're up to 43 hits now. Our players are going to be battered and bruised after this one. Big hit returned in the corner. He's slow to get up. Eichel now. He'll streak in. He gets a shot on net. It's not a very good angle, but it's a nice save by Charlie Lindgren, who's up to 14 shots. Back in front as Stone was trying to be the recipient of that pass from Hurdle. Dubois now. He'll streak in. Looks for a sharp angle shot. We'll deflect that one up over the net. White Cloud. Up to Stone. Mark Stone, captain, gets it up to assistant captain Eichel. Barbashev now on the ice. It's a little bit of a mixed line here as we're waiting for this line change to finish. Hannafin joins the rush. And another, I mean, the hits are kind of getting silly at this point. I do wish there was a hit slider. They have all these sliders in the game and they don't have like, can I turn off big hits? Sandine now, Rasmus Sandine hits the back of Ovechkin's leg. 
Ovi now in the corner. Behind the net, he's going to look for a play in front. He finds it. And, I mean, look, I'm all for... Okay, that, I hate that celebration. How is it still in the game? Seventh goal of the season now for Ovi. I mean, you could, I, I literally called it out loud. I don't know how this play behind the net works so bloody much, but it is a little frustrating. We make the first big save. Ovi on the offside gets the rebound and buries that across. That's actually a nice shot. I'll give him that. But you knew it. Like, look at three players looking at Ovi in the corner. I know it's Alexander Ovechkin. I know that he warrants eyes. But come on, that's such an orchestrated play. And it happens every game. He goes behind the net, looks for a man in front, finds that man. We make a beautiful save. And you got to give credit to Ovi, who finds his seventh. But a 2-2 hockey game. I mean, just sloppy defensive plays all game for the Vegas Golden Knights. I've given these guys a lot of credit over the last stretch of hockey. Five, six games where they've looked really good. Right now, it's very bad. Hurdle's such a big body when he gets going. He just shrugs people off and makes plays. All right, let's see what we can do. Theodore now bouncing it back to Holtz. Holtz in the corner being tied up by two men. Ovi comes in to help out. Ethan Bear. He's another new member. Gets it over to Dylan Strom, who tries to sidestep Petrangelo. Lands the hit, and that's a very interesting... Oh my gosh, I just got a piece of that. That's a very interesting line change that I'm pretty sure would have been offside. Steps out, gets possession, makes a play at the net, and we just get a blocker on that. And now, I mean, this is just... We're going to be full pressure in about two seconds here. What an unbelievable save by number 60. They're not going to show the replay, so we will. Unbelievable stuff here. I mean, come on, guys. Look alive. What a feather in front to McMichael. And I mean, not much we had to do there. He kind of shot it into us, but we stretch out. A nice big save. Holy jumpins. Come on, fellas. Let's look a little bit alive here. And I mean, that's what you need. You need you need a good save like that, not only to, to feel like you have an impact in this game, but to maybe get your AI counterparts to start waking the hell up. Hannafin now behind the net. Loses it to Protus. Protus to Carlson. And misses the net wide. That hits the outside of the post. It sounded a lot more dangerous than it was. Holy jump-ins. And now Washington, who's thrown about 55 hits in this game, are now starting to wake up offensively. And Wilson, and we're exhausted. Like, I actually have a black stamina bar. It's not even regaining. Are we bumped out? Yeah, there we go. It's starting to flash now. My, oh, my. Come on, guys. Let's get some offensive zone time. 15-15 are the shots. And then make that 16-15 in favor of Vegas. Dubois steps on the ice. We're finally back into some green stamina. Dubois will make a save on him. Make sure there's no rebound as he charges the net. Some scary moments here in the second period. We had a really good bounce back to start the period. Another great goal from Alex Ovechkin. He's had so many in his career as he's approaching the Gretzky record. I don't think he'll get it this year. A lot of people think he will. I just think he's slowed down a little bit too much. You never know, though. He could be poised for another big year. But I, I, I don't think he will. One, I don't think he will even need to stress about getting it. Two, two years max, and he'll have it. Even if he doesn't and he slows way, way down, he could probably play for another three or four years. Carlson now shrugs his man off, gets it up to TJ Oshi. Oshi with Sonny Milano. Back in front to Oshi, who tries to just feather that one into the corner. Not a lot of time and space there. Back to Sandine. So many bodies in front. You got to be careful that that isn't just ricochet off somebody else. We saw so many of those goals against Anaheim. And Dubois. I mean, come on, guys. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do with the defense here. I mean, that's a bad five-hole goal for sure, but I did not know where he was going to shoot that puck. Kolasar gets absolutely manhandled, not once, but twice. Three times. What are you doing, Hannafin? Just get a stick in the way. I mean, that's a bad five-hole goal. I'm not going to try and I'm not going to try and sit here like that wasn't partially my fault. I was expecting a high shot. He just what a five-hole shot, though. You can see the frustration from the animation after. Get the puck out, though, boys. Kolasar had three opportunities to send that puck across the blue line, and he loses it. And then for whatever reason, that just sends Hannafin into a frozen state. Doesn't even attempt to get to the shooter. And that's a beautifully played shot by uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. I did not, I, I'm going to say out loud, I did not expect that shot to go five-hole. I did not react in time, and he cleanly beat 
our very young, inexperienced goaltender in this game. So right now, this is all Washington. I, I don't know what to say. This is just defensive claps after defensive claps right now. Can't get through the neutral zone. Nobody's looking to make that extra pass to get it out. Trying to do it all them on their own. And I mean, it's just been a great period. Even with the goals for Vegas, it's been a great period from Washington, who are the more physical team. They've controlled the puck more, and they're winning. There's a good little flip pass, and I don't know what just happened with Eichel and Stone, but they climb in front, and what a save by Lindgren as Petrangelo joins the play and gets a pretty good shot off, but a right-handed catcher, as we've mentioned before. That's just, he gets absolutely rocked by Ovi after that shot. I don't even want to know how many shots or hits they're up to. It's probably like 80. We're not even through two periods. 3.11 left on the clock in the second. 3-2, you just hate to see that scoreline after such a good start to the period. Ovechkin to Manjipani, gets it up to, I believe it's Matt Roy, but it could be Matt Waugh. Manjipani over to Strom, Ovechkin now. Ovi's got some life in those old legs today. He's loving that behind the scene pass. Sandine gets blocked in front by Barbashev. Now Barbashev has some time and space. He has Holtz going to, what the heck was that? What is happening with Barbashev? Oh my gosh. And the defenseman just saved a goal as Barbashev somehow just manhandles his way through. Gets a glory shot and a tip in front by Barbashev. Oh, he's gotta be rewarded here shortly. What an individual shift by Ivan Barbashev who somehow just pushes his way through. Look at this play. Gets his shot. It's a good save off the top of the glove, and he's right there for his own rebound. He almost gets it to go, but I believe it's John Carlson. I don't think it's Sandine. Oh, it is Sandine who gets the rebound first. And that's a great play by Ivan Barbashev to just even give some sort of life as full pressure now for the Vegas Golden Knights. Ken William Carlson, who has a quick chat with Shane Theodore, wins it cleanly. Does the shot come out? No, it goes back to Holtz. And that's where you wish they would just shoot. Come on, guys. Milano now to TJ Oshi. And we make another monster save on a sprawling TJ Oshi, who somehow has that pep in his step to find time and space behind the Vegas defenseman. Less than a minute in this second period. Fervari gets a shot on net. Loses it, Oshi behind the net. Gotta be careful that he doesn't just throw it in front to an open man, and Petrangelo's lost. I don't know what's going on right now, but he's always looking the opposite way of where the puck is. Come on, man, use your hockey IQ. The new system introduced to NHL 25. <laughs> oh, what a period. I don't even know how to break that period down. You have an unbelievable start from the boys. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better start to a period. And then it just gets physical. It gets slowed down. And Washington capitalized. That's the play right there. I just can't believe that one Kolasar didn't even try to make the pass up. Two, once he lost the puck, why is Hannafin just standing still? I get give the goaltender time and space, but like, I did not think he would go five hole there. It's a beautiful shot. I'm not gonna take anything away from that. It was, he positioned his body, made it look like he was going upper shelf, misread it, bad goal on my part, but what a play by Dubois, solo effort. A good finish to that period. There's some physicality coming out. That's what you need against these guys. Oh, the poke checks are just so strong in this game. Stone now, back in front to... Here we go, some puck cycling. Hurdle with a nice little pass back. Shea Theodore tries to get it on. Ovechkin now. Oh my gosh. I, I think the next thing I'm going to start putting points into and we have like weekly weekouts. Weekly weekouts? What? Weekly workouts. Holy jumpins. Is, uh, is recovery and movement speed. I'm so slow getting across the net. Like my guy doesn't recover or react in time. And then I don't have the speed when I do react to get across. Like it's very slow. These guys are gonna end this game with 80, 80 to 90 hits. It's actually wild how aggressive they're being. Oh my gosh, please help. Send help. Barbashev now, second unit on. Can they make something happen? No, another hit along the blue line. Sandine getting involved. He'll step up. He's had a couple shots in this game, looking for a third, but 
I don't know what's going on. We're getting absolutely manhandled right now. I know that they're the much physical, much more physical team, but geez Louise, I don't think I've ever seen the AI be this aggressive. Another hit on Petrangelo. Call something. Help us out. I don't want another power play after the last one, though. Dubois, solo effort again. In front. Behind the net. In front again. Oh, my Lord. I mean, this is just brutal hockey all around. Holtz, what happened to the eight goals we scored against Utah? Somebody help me. Much different team here in the Washington Capitals. Now up to Dubois. Dubois. Another solo effort, this time stripped of the puck by Noah Hannafin, and that's what I wanted him to do last time. Kolasar. Oh, Kolasar. Brother, man. That puck squirts back into the neutral zone. Another regroup and re-entry, and McNabb loses the puck all the way down to the defensive zone. I'm just going to hold this because I don't like what's going on. Oshi is just killing everybody. People are falling over the place. Puck's squirting free into open ice. Like, sit down, Hag. Holy jumpins. My gosh. This is wild to see, dude. Everybody's just losing their, their battles. All right. 3 2 is your game. 13 24 left in the third period. We got to get something going. I mean, this is just an absolute clinic right now. Hawk squirts free up to Wah. Wah over to Dorofeyev. Dorofeyev. He goes for a little skate, loses the puck momentarily, but corrals it back. In front to Hag. And another good save there. Mangiapani up, loses the puck, it squirts free back to Wah, who finds Dorofeyev with a nifty little pass. Dorofeyev! And Charlie Lindgren has looked good in this third period for the Washington Capitals. 22 shots apiece, the difference being one goal. Oh, I hate that that one goal is a goal that I could have easily saved. Michael now. He wins the faceoff. First line out and a nice shot by McNabb. It's a set play on the faceoff. Ovechkin being hounded, but he gets the puck up. He gets his own puck back somehow. Mangiapane behind the net. In front. We'll just make ourselves big along the post. Hurdle. Under pressure, Ovechkin. That's not the guy you want in front of the net making plays. Stone. He tries to find time and space. He'll kick it behind the net. It's going to be Eichel, the retriever. Eichel, back in front, tries to spot Hurdle, loses it. Up to Mangiapani, who spots Ovechkin. Come on, boys. Keep going, keep going. White Cloud now being challenged. Stone, up to Hurdle. Hurdle. He goes for a big clapper. Maybe try and five holes, similar to Dubois. But it's going to be Lindgren with another denial. Carlson. Carlson back in front of Hannafin. Hannafin, shoot the bloody puck. Oh, my gosh. The goaltender was moving to the right, and you held on to it. There's the teams we're coming up. Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. You would assume we'd get one of those games. Now, if this was real hockey, we'd likely get the back-to-back. -back, but for whatever reason, coaches don't like to put you in the back-to-back. -back. It's usually the game after the back-to-back -back for some reason. Don't know why. It's how it's always gone. Maybe they've changed it in this game, but I highly doubt it. Full pressure for Vegas, but once again, physicality will win these battles. And Oshi and this line right now are looking very, very strong. White Cloud tries to get the puck away from his man. He does. Holtz pendle on the board. Now it's going to be William Carlson. Does he have a step on John Carlson? No, he loses that battle, and Dubois comes back to help at his defenseman. Wilson. Wilson up to Carlson. Carlson. Goes for a streak, tries to get a shot on net, but it's a good physical play by Vegas. Barbashev now up to White Cloud. Goes back for a skate, gets it up to Hannafin, who spots Barbashev. I love those little outlet passes. Hannafin now, and I feel like you got to go opposite side, guys. That glove right now for Charlie looks really good. But it's so unorthodox being a right-handed catcher. Come on, Carlson. Loses it cleanly. Back to Sandine, Rasmus Sandine. Out of his defensive zone. He has so much time and space. White Cloud will stand him up at the uh, top of the dot. Barbashev now. Loses the puck, and this is not good. A turnover. Sandine, Protus. We'll get the save. Sandine will go behind the net. Looks for a man in front. We knew that was coming. I'm about the only one in this game that can see that play coming. Hurdle. 
He'll get it up. Hannafin now. Noah Hannafin. Come on, guys. One goal is all we need. Just get us a chance. Petrangelo now back to Aiku. Finds Hurdle. And there's another glove save. Guys, shoot blocker side. Please. Please. I'm begging you. He's got the he's got the textbook out and he's reading it. Another face-off loss, and that's kind of been how this game's been progressing. Losing the physicality department, losing face-offs, losing the game. Here we go. Hurdle. Oh. The defense is just so on the ball right now. You got a hot goaltender in Charlie Lindgren. And you got defense in front of them that are making every single play look easy as Tom Wilson. Breaks the stick of Shea Theodore, who pushes it forward with his hand. Thankfully, we had a Vegas player there. That could have been really bad. Hurdle now in front. He's just trying too much. He's just trying to get around them with his stick, and he's just not doing it. What is that play? Maybe. Maybe it'll work out. We got help from the defenseman coming back. Here we go. Mark Stone. Mark Stone goes for escape. Finds. Oh, my gosh. We can't buy a goal. Stone still with the puck. Here we go. Full pressure now. Come on, boys. What is that shot? You missed the net by a mile, and it's Ovi who blocks it. We'll go for a skate. Oh, my gosh. Oh! oh! And he can't believe it. Sandine cannot believe it, and neither can we as the fans are on their feet. And what could possibly be a game-saving... Sa oh, my gosh. Oh! If he was a second faster, he would have buried that. And we finally get some replay love. Oh my gosh, the sp spinning with the stick. We're actually going to zoom in on that because that angle wasn't great. Maybe a bit of luck as the one-timer again squirts free. And he's there. And we oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know which angle to look at this from. This is wild, dude. Unbelievable denial. There's your best look at it right there. Holy jumpins. I don't know. I Come on, boys. Rally after that save. It's we've evened up. In fact, we've taken the offensive sign time away from them. Watch for the coach. We might have a gold pulled goalie situation starting here. If we can get possession, I'm getting over there. Come on. Come on, pull me. Come on, pull me. Yes. Skate. Don't lose the puck, boys. Come on, boys. I can't see what's happening. Petrangelo loses the puck immediately, but they get it back. William Carlson to Eichel. Eichel dangles, and Lindgren holds the fort down again. Oh, my gosh. Come on, boys. I mean, it, Cheryl Pounder's right. I mean, Charlie Lindgren has kept them in this third period. They really have. I, it's, it's unbelievable to watch. I have had one goal against me that I don't like, and that's the difference. Face off one. Theodore in front of Barbashev. And Lindgren with a massive save again. I kind of wish I could, like, look at the play. I don't like how it just stays here glued to the bench. Come on, boys. 42 seconds to prevent our second straight loss. Barbashev, another face-off win. In front to Holtz. Holtz tries to go five-hole. Eichel strips that away. Holtz now back to Hannafin. Hannafin with a wrist shot. And he gets absolutely destroyed at the blue line. No penalty, and Milano's going to score. Unbelievable that this game doesn't call those. You got Hannafin absolutely hip-checked out of Milwaukee. Out of nowhere. Oh, no. That is such a shame, dude. And Milano will score on the empty. Like, that is abysmal refing. And Hannafin's limping off, by the way. Get the hip checks out of this game. Aye, aye, aye. I mean, look, it is what it is. I, I feel like we had a pretty solid game. I feel like I feel like for two periods, the boys just could not get set up in front of us. It was one hell of an opportunity in the third period. We played our hearts out. But at the end of the day, it's it's Washington was more physical. They won more draws. Another one right there. And they capitalized. That play by Dubois was a solo effort that he made look easy. And he made us look like a fool. And that's a difference. And another post there. Oh, my gosh. 
Let's not uh, completely ruin our stats. And we had a glorious opportunity with the, the goalie pulled, and it's Charlie Lindgren who has been the difference maker for Washington in this one. I just, I almost can't believe it. He's been unbelievable. That glove has been red hot all game. One last opportunity here, 7.4. And we are gonna be handed our second straight loss at the hands of Ovi and the Washington Capitals. Well, the good news is I feel like I played a lot better. That, that's good news, because I felt like that Anaheim game was really, really bad. I, I looked, I watched that video back, and yes, there were some fluky things, 